In this module, we're gonna go over when you have lights out inside the truck, on the outside of the truck, and even on the trailer. There's gonna be a few tools that you're gonna need. A flashlight, a test light, and a T25 torque bit. You can use a manual or a screw gun, which I have here. Let's hop in the cab. I'm gonna show you where that one's located inside the truck. And that one's gonna be for the lights, typically for the inside the truck and on the outside of the truck. And then I'll go to the next one where it's basically for everything going to the back of the truck and mostly the trailer. So let's hop right into this. All right, guys, we're on the passenger side of this Freightliner Cascadia. Right here in this glove compartment, there's actually a fuse panel that we're gonna get access to. This is where you're gonna need a tool, a T25. You can use a manual or a gun to remove the four screws inside. When you open it up, there's gonna be four sections. On this one, I already removed these screws so we can go through this pretty quickly. So you're gonna remove the screws. Once you remove them, slide it out just a smidge. And if I was you, put the bolts inside so you don't lose them. Close the lid once you get it out. Once you pull it out, there's gonna be a cover which I already removed, you pull the cover out and then you'll have access to the fuses inside. Now this is where you're gonna need your flashlight and your uh, test light to verify that it has power of the fuse on each side and then the flashlight to indicate where it's at. You get your test light, you wanna put one lead on the ground which is a good bolt here in the door jam area and then you test your fuse by going back and forth. If you have power on both sides, that indicates a good fuse. If you have one with power and none with with missing power, that's gonna show and indicate that is a bad fuse. Now on this truck, you're gonna see on the glove compartment box right here, there's literally a uh, fuse and relay identification. Right here, it'll tell you descriptions of what it is, what fuse it takes, and what location it's at. And it gives you a little diagram of all the locations of where the fuses are at. So when you guys pull a fuse out of the dash and you notice that it's black or it can actually see where the piece of metal is broken, that is indicating that it's a blown fuse. If you pull it out and you see that the metal is still connected and maybe you just didn't have a proper lead on with your test light, it's still a good fuse. Once you find that blown fuse, uh, you would just remove it and install a new one. And this is where you should have those extra fuses in your truck. Now, just for, so you know, when doing this, this is to help you find out if the lights are here or blown out, or even your cigarette lighters, as well as some of the lights on the outside of the truck. All right, guys, there's one more fuse box I want to show you, which is on the outside, on the driver's side, under the hood, which these, uh, these fuses are for the trailer and the taillights on the back. All right, guys, we're on the driver's side, and there's another fuse panel here that you need to take a look if you have any problems with trailer lights and maybe taillights. Right here, there's a panel. You're gonna remove the cover. The cover is gonna indicate any, uh, all the identification of what the fuses are and the location. And again, you're gonna need your test light. Find a good ground and you're gonna test each uh, fuse, uh, especially if you're trying to find out if there's a trailer problem. I would start where it's located, test it to see if you have power. If it doesn't, remove the fuse and then install another one. And again, this is another reason why we keep fuses inside the truck. But just by doing a few tricks like this will save you hundreds of dollars just doing it yourself. Again, thank you for your time. I'll see you at the next module.